Hola. Welcome to a very special live edition of the Nopalera podcast. In honor of Women's History Month, today I have the pleasure and honor of sitting down with the one and only Angel Aviles, an icon in the Latino community. So much has happened in the three decades since she starred as Sad Girl in the now cult film Mi Vida Loca. Fast forward, she has written a best-selling book called Too Happy to be Sad Girl and has a vibrant coaching practice and continues to speak on culture, creativity, and confidence. Let's head to the studio to meet my friend, Angel Aviles. First of all, welcome home. <gasps> yes. You are from New York. I this am. is your home. I am, yes. Does it feel like home when you come here? No. Okay. Not anymore. I have friends that I, I meet here and then I feel like home, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I found my home in the world and I think that that's more of who I am now. I mm -hmm. think having grown up here and being like, you know, you raised as like New York is the center of the universe. Yeah. And having the opportunity to, you know, what, there's there's a certain toughness and there was a certain mm -hmm. pride, just mm -hmm. like in any environment you grow up in. There's yeah. kids who grew up in L.A., kids yeah. that are from Miami, Detroit, wherever you're from. It's like you get this sense of pride because of one protection mm -hmm. and two strength yeah. just to be a part of something. But now, yeah, I just feel like I meet my people in my home everywhere mm -hmm. I go. Mm. You are the home. I am. I'm mm -hmm. home. I'm in my skin mm -hmm. and I just connect. I, I'm so fortunate to connect with amazing people. Yeah. And I just, I have to tell you about this. I remember the moment where I was, my friend's house in San Diego, when I first saw Mi Vida Loca. I just have to mention it because I remember so clearly watching this movie and just feeling like galvanized, you know, you've done plenty of interviews about that. So we don't need to go into all of that. You already know you are an icon. And so for me, it's just a full circle moment that now we are in your hometown and we are on this podcast together. Wow. Life is magic. Life it is magic. It truly is. Life like, is magic. Even the way we met and like I know. how instantly our friendship formed. Like, and in Mexico, when you posted a picture, I was like, I just walked by that door. Are you in San Miguel? Yes. <laughs> and it was like instant. And you were like, we're doing this, yeah. this, this, and yeah. this. And I was like, I had been there for weeks. And yeah. I was just kind of like, I'm just chilling. <laughs> just going to walk. And you were like, we're going to do this, yeah. this, this. And yeah. you just like, let me third wheel with you. And But then you appeared like legit you we, you came up the mountain i did <laughs> we were we were sitting yes. on a bench at the top of a hill we had just done this like massive you know hike and like i was like angel <laughs> like, i know like literally out of the bush it, i, I was saw like that dress yeah. which was stunning that green dress and i was like I, I didn't even know it was you i was like i'm gonna talk to that woman because i have to know where she got that dress and then it was you and yeah. i was like what okay i guess we're hanging out again we're gonna do this all right what are you doing for lunch yes yeah what yeah. are you doing tomorrow yes <laughs> and just from that i just got so much more daring like i found the charco which yeah. i also walked oh. to like a mad woman wow don't recommend that yeah. to everyone. <laughs> Not from where I was staying. Yes, yes. But I did it. Yeah. Yeah, so it was really it was really brilliant this sort of serendipitous. That was full on serendipity. I, I know. Yes, I try to explain that too like when you are doing you, mm. you meet the most incredible people and it's like instant family, instant connection. Yes, yes, yes. And and just empowering one another it doesn't like you just know like this person is is gonna make it and what do I have to do to jump on mm -hmm. so that she knows like there's fuel there's fuel yes. behind her we were in the right place at the right time that's how you know like I was meant to be here right now without a doubt yeah without a doubt so now you teach people to be confident correct but I would love to know do you remember a time when you were not uh, most of my life, <laughs> okay. right? So most of my life I spent incredibly insecure, sadly through the moments where I was physically mm. the most beautiful, right? Okay. Still gorgeous now. Thank you. I hear you. you. I hear what you're saying, but, but you I don't accept I mean, that. Like, yes. It's aesthetically supposed to be most pleasing. Like yeah. I feel sexy as hell. I'm yeah. 53 now yes. and my life no, is goals. I'm, goals. I'm feeling goals. fabulous. Yes. However, at the time when you're supposed to be living your best life, mm -hmm. you have the most energy, mm -hmm. like your, your you're not going to the doctor, working, right? you don't have <laughs> shit to worry about. Yeah. Like there's not a thing on your body that aches. Yes. You need nothing yes. except water and, you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. air. Yeah. I was the most insecure. Mm. A part of that is, is just 
culturally having grown up in an environment that one demanded I be incredibly different, mm-hmm. like the the this constant code switching mm-hmm. growing up in the Bronx, mm-hmm. being in ballet, being in the arts where mm. not a whole lot of people that looked like me were representing, mm-hmm. um, moving to Hollywood where the aesthetics mm. and the, you know, the container of beauty was very specific. Yes. And truthfully, did I meet that container on my good days? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was always this, this, never ending journey of not enoughness yes. this this constant mm-hmm. barrage of images that showed that i wasn't enough mm-hmm. there weren't people that looked like me mm-hmm. there weren't people that came from places like me mm-hmm. um and so that was just a never ending supply and and what i did was i created a life a fortress of a life a machine of a life mm-hmm. that at least made it appear that I was confident, mm. at least made it appear that I had it all going on, mm-hmm. which I did. You know, I had the the family and the beautiful kids and the beautiful husband mm-hmm. and the beautiful and the house career. and the career and the this and the this. Um, but still, there's something unless you do that, that work mm-hmm. and people get afraid to when I say, oh, it's deep work. Well, yeah. it is deep. work. Yeah. Yeah. And whether you want to do it or not, you're going to live in yeah. the results of that work or that lack of work. Yes. That part. So you're either going to do it yeah, or you're not going to do it, yeah. but the you're going to get the results. Yes. Yes. So for me, ultimately, what, what ended up changing is I, you know, if it was like 1986, we would call it a nervous breakdown. <laughs> right. Hysteria. But, yeah. That, yeah. That's probably like more 20. Yeah, okay. but, <laughs> you know, right. Um, but now it, they call it burnout. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. This, this idea of you're doing so much. Yes. And then the world just it crashes. Yes. And I found myself having these chronic and debilitating moments of depression, Mm -hmm. chronic debilitating panic attacks Mm. where I was in my thirties. I was 38 at the hospital. Like, you're not going to tell me I'm not having a heart attack. Right. Like, yeah, this is real. Yeah. It it literally real is a heart attack. Yeah. And they were like, no, there's nothing wrong with your heart. And I remember the first time a doctor asked me, like, is there something going on at home? Like, You're implying like, that there was mm. maybe something psychological. And I was just like, oh, you trying to say I'm crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I couldn't even process that. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, so you're just saying I'm crazy. Like, yeah. I'm making this up. Yeah, yeah. But that's how phenomenal the mind is. Yes. Like, we can make up all kinds of things Mm -hmm. to call ourselves awake, to call ourselves Mm -hmm. to change, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to call ourselves to create something different that we've already created. Mm -hmm. And so what, was there like one defining moment or was it like a series of moments that got you out of that into like where you are now that so much so that you are able to now help people also transform their lives? I really like to say it's a series of undefined (laughs) moments that you, upon reflection, realize were the most important Mm -hmm. moments of your life. Mm -hmm. I like to say that and I like to share and emphasize that because I think we live in such a fast um, culture where we want things to come so quickly. Yeah. You know, the before and afters, the all the life flashing in a, mm-hmm. in one minute. Mm-hmm. That's not how it is. Yeah. That's not how any awakening is. That's mm-hmm. not how the journey is. The yeah. journey is long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as cliche as it sounds, it's like to enjoy the process. Most of the process is not enjoyable. Okay. Thank you for saying that. Cause people always say, enjoy the process. I'm like, can we just get there? <laughs> Some, and plus if you're looking to enjoy it, mm-hmm. you're going to be depressed mm-hmm. and disappointed and once again it's going to fuel that feeling of not enoughness Mm -hmm. so and so said enjoy the process yeah so and so keeps telling me to and you're like how the fuck do i enjoy the process thank you the process is shitty thank you thank you it's like i can enjoy a foot in the ass but i don't no (laughs) can you (laughs) yeah yeah so it's not always going to be fabulous when you can enjoy it do Mm -hmm. but for the most part understand that there's going to be some unenjoyable yes things that you have to go through yes and just trust that it will ultimately work out. Mm-hmm. And don't stop trying mm-hmm. because I tried all of it. Mm. I tried all the self care and the doctor and the crystals, and I did everything yeah. that I could possibly do. Mm-hmm. And 
finally it was a lot of modalities all working together mm. because it, this was a physical, spiritual, and emotional process. Yes. And so I did it all. I took care of my body, I took care of my mind, and mm -hmm. I took care of my spirit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that was deconstructing a lot of belief systems mm -hmm. and then acting upon mm -hmm. what you know and what you now have. Yeah. Which is a bunch of ideas mm -hmm. and thoughts and beliefs that you can either choose to carry with you mm -hmm. through the next part of your life. Yes. Or you can choose to recreate. Yes. It's like a heavy backpack that we carry. Honey. What are we taking on this next trip? Do you need it? Do you need it? Right. Do you even know what's in the bag? Uh, right. Because I think about, <laughs> right, trauma, number one. Right. And, you know, I think about, like, if my house were to flood right now, like, what, what, what would I remember even what's in it? Like, probably, yes. like, my computer. <laughs> you know, but do I even know what's in my closet? Not really. Do you know what I mean? Yes. We just, but we just pack it up and keep moving, and we just keep carrying the stuff with us through all of our phases of life. And Absolutely. so the unpacking is what you're saying, right? Yes. Yes. And so it's all of these different things. You tried all the things, yes. right? You tried all the things. And eventually it sounds like then some of those things worked together over Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Right? Because it's a decision that you're making to love yourself, mm -hmm. to value yourself, mm -hmm. to consider yourself, to put yourself in the equation, which again is not something that we're taught to do as mm -hmm. Latinas for sure. Mm -hmm. Like there's this underlying mea culpa, like oh my god, this idea yes. that there has to be a suffering mm -hmm. if you are going to be a good person. Mm -hmm. Because if mm -hmm. you're not suffering, you're not good. You are speaking to me right now because I am working through that. I'm, and I'm like, I didn't even realize that I was carrying this. That I some there's punishment. Like I deserve to suffer. I deserve to be punished for mistakes. You know. But it's like, how is that helpful? It's not helpful. And as a matter of fact, it's extremely damaging. Yeah. It's again, those pieces that you have in that backpack that you don't know. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. weigh a ton. They're mm -hmm. tiny. Yeah. They can be super tiny. You don't know where they came from. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, it's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. Right. In mm -hmm. some cases, you can go to therapy, you can do something, you can go to therapy or yoga or get a facial or whatever. In some cases, those things are not going to matter. But in some cases where you've begun to disguise though that chatter as your own beliefs, as your own ideas, mm. as an organic part of you, mm. that's mm -hmm. when you've got to really yeah. do the work. Mm -hmm. Because then you have to say, hey, who the fuck are you? Yeah. Like, where did this come from? Right. Is yeah. there an evil twin living inside of mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. What I determined was that that's not an evil twin. That is a subconscious that wants to protect me. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in there, we have to reconcile those voices, all of those parts of me. The the chola who, mm -hmm. you know, who would have fights. Yeah. I just want to clear up that <laughs> I never... I didn't start it. No, <laughs> I, I was going to say that, actually, because I've actually only started one fight in my life. Mm -hmm. Everything else was self-defense. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Part two. Part two. Um, but, you know, so that really tough girl who had to survive mm -hmm. and did things behind that survival, yes. whether it was intentional or unintentional, yeah. uh, reconciling that part of myself... She was also, incidentally, the person that was causing me to have these heart flutters, these panic mm. attacks. And so, you know, when you think about the subconscious mind and what it does, it's regulating everything in our system. We go to bed, our, we're breathing, our temperature is regulated. That's homegirl keeping mm -hmm. you alive. Yeah. Yeah. But she's also keeping you alive based on a, a five-year-old concept. Yes. Right? Yes. Based on her idea of what it is to be secure. Yeah. So, Sandra, you're operating in a place that you don't really know. Mm -hmm. Nobody know has ever been here. This mm -hmm. ain't safe for you. Mm -hmm. And so now, starting to reconcile as a grown-ass woman yeah. what it means to stand in this. Yeah. And what it means also to call up, to re recreate, reframe your mindset, yeah. reframe your thoughts, yeah. biologically reprogram your body mm -hmm. so that you can stand in there gloriously telling these sharks to, excuse me, but oh, you can fuck yourself because yeah, yeah. I, I want my money, baby. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And it not even fuck yourself but just unless like, that brings you pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but like, um, mm -hmm. but no, mm -hmm. but no, mm -hmm. because I have all of this and I can stand in all of this. Yes. Yes. And even though I've not seen it modeled by anybody close to me, mm -hmm. I don't need that model because yeah. I am the model. I am the new model. We're building the new model. Yes. You build the new model. Yes. 
what aside from like the thoughts thought like belief systems that you had to let go talk to me about people that you had to let go because we know that it's also like you know in, in Spanish we have a saying you know dime con quien andas y te digo quien quien eres. eres and so who like what about that part because I feel like that is also one of those things that holds people back that they don't know because like how can I break up with my best friend from from grade school or like the people from my neighborhood or even your family you know it is so painful once again like I have I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer I'm mm-hmm. just trying to keep it real and tell yeah. the truth like. Yeah. Some of those moments, those are defining moments of your life. Yeah. Like, are you going to be able to say goodbye to some mm-hmm. of the people that have been in your life forever mm-hmm. and what it means in our culture? Because yes. we associate that with a level of loyalty. Yes. And if you're not loyal, you ain't shit. Yes. Yes. Like you give your word, your word yes. is bond. You show yeah. up. Yeah. We show up at places that we're supposed to be. We're told we're supposed to be. We're told that this is what it looks like to yeah. be loyal, but we're yes. not taught that you can be loyal to yourself. That part. And that you owe that to you. And how can you be loyal to someone else when you're not loyal to you? Yeah. And that there is an even exchange and you don't have to sacrifice that soul. Yeah. But it feels like a death, right? It is a death. Mm-hmm. It is a death because mm-hmm. you've invested, you've invested energy, time, mm-hmm. There's been secrets exchanged. Mm-hmm, There's mm-hmm. all kinds of things that are held. Mm-hmm. And letting that go, it is a death because mm-hmm. you're letting go pieces of yourself. Right. Of your past, of your history, yes. of who you thought you were. Yes. Right? Yes. <sighs> so it's not easy. It's not an easy journey to it's get, not. to evolve, right? You did all the things. You had to let go of people. You had to let go of belief systems. Like, how long does this take? Yeah. <laughs> like, so for example, asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How long did that take for you to like, when you're in the hospital with like a panic attack and like, now you're like helping other people change their lives. Like, what was that time period? I think it wasn't like, it wasn't a linear process. Mm-hmm. I think I just started sharing. I mean, ultimately how I started helping people was I just started writing. I just started mm-hmm. telling my business, which is another thing that was totally mm-hmm. the anthis- uh, antithesis of how I was raised. Like, yeah. you, don't tell, you don't put your business yeah, out yeah. on the street. Yeah. But I knew that what I was learning was something that I wanted to share. Mm-hmm. I knew that I had a reputation, right? So I wear a sad girl's face. Mm-hmm. So I had this familiarity. I had people that recognized yes, me, yes. that felt like I was their sister, yeah. a representative of their tia, mm-hmm. their cousins. Mm-hmm. Whether they were the giggles or the mousy or the sad yeah. girl or the whisper, yeah. they related to these characters so yeah. much. And I felt like... Well, I'm going to start here. I'm going to bloom where I'm planted. I'm going to, I'm going to share this Mm -hmm. because I can't be the only one. Right. And I just started sharing and it was super organic. I wasn't sharing because I had come out and I was already (laughs) arrived. Yeah. Yeah, Right. 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 At 53, guess what? I haven't arrived. I'm, I am, Mm -hmm. I'm here and I'm loving my life and I'm blossoming and I'm still going places. Right. So I'm hoping that I continue arriving. Yes. I continue getting somewhere. Yes. I continue. Yes. I'm moving to, I move to another country, right? See you soon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're going to do that. So I think that when we begin to look at this as a nonlinear adventure, mm-hmm. it's so much more interesting. Mm-hmm. And the expectations, we can just eliminate that. Yeah. We have enough expectations that we put right. on ourselves. Comparisons. Yes. Yes. It does no good to look at how long it took me. Right. Look at how long it's taking you. Yes. Right. Yes. And decide, well, this makes me happy. Yeah. And so today you might have arrived at where you wanted to be for your intention for today. That's right. That's right. And you just keep letting that happen. Yeah. Thank you for that. Because basically you're like, it's whatever it is for you. <laughs> without a doubt i'm like is it a year is it two years right like, i need to I, know i need to know i need hard yes. answers okay? yes <laughs> yes but when you're in it and it's not comfortable <clears throat> and you, you just want to wait you do want yeah. somebody to say look it's right it's this it's this yeah like yeah. you want you yeah. want that prescription yes take the medicine yes and you're going to be better how many and, weeks right yeah how many how many do i have to do a day yeah right. exactly and that's also really, really rough yes. because we've grown up in that yeah. environment mm-hmm. where we can go to the doctor and we can say, this is wrong with us. Mm-hmm. And it's called a practice for a reason, yeah. right? The doctors don't know everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The coaches don't know everything. Right. The therapists don't know everything. Everyone's figuring it out. We're here helping mm-hmm. each other figure it out. Yeah. Well, this is what worked for me. Yeah. 
you know, Fulana yeah. had this and that yeah. worked for her yeah. Yeah. and so and so had this. Yeah. But ultimately it comes down to you focusing. We 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 get so out of focus mm-hmm. that sometimes just taking that nice mm-hmm. deep breath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To listen. Mm-hmm. And so tell me about your practice now for your for you where you are in this moment, because obviously the journey's not over, you're still on it. You have to, I'm assuming, have some practices that you do now that keep you grounded. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Absolutely. And they're, again, mental, physical, and emotional practices, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm I'm a being. I'm not just an electrified meat suit. I really do... (laughs) believe yeah. that i'm i'm electrically connected yes, right so yes. i do go to i i love grounding mm. i love being outside yes. in the in nature yes. um i love my trees yes i love the ocean mm-hmm. i love putting my feet on the ground yes. and feeling that earth yes especially when you live or you're spending a significant time in a city environment yes so it becomes incredibly important to remember that you're a part of nature you're a natural mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. and to do what you can to mm-hmm. get your time in there yes whatever that looks like yes uh, you know it could be something is like aromatherapy whatever yeah. it is for you to yeah. just know that you can get grounded yeah my other practices could be meditation, mm-hmm. prayer, mm-hmm. it can be singing, which mm-hmm. I, I'm a horrible singer, but hey, it's about me. <laughs> it's for you. I, I'm not singing for anybody. <laughs> Whatever it is that mm-hmm. strikes my fancy at that time, uh-huh. you know, it's like when people say, well, what, what, what do you do for your skin? It's like whatever strikes my fancy. Yeah. Okay. Right? So in other words, like it's a flow. It's a flow. It's not like it's 5 a.m. I wake up and I do this. And then at 6 a.m. I eat oatmeal. No, you are just saying you go with it. I flow because that's what matters to me. There was a time mm-hmm. when I was much more rigid mm-hmm. and the discipline, there was a safeness in that discipline. Mm-hmm. So if that's what you need, again, yeah. you've got to do yes. you. There's an art to listening to yourself. Yes. So you talk to me in six months, I may say, you know what, Sandra, I have to wake up at 6 a.m. now every day and yeah. I got to hit the gym yes. because that's yes. what's making me feel mm-hmm. connected now. today. Yes. And I think that that, this keeps coming up for me is this concept of impermanence because I, you know, I'm like, how does it end? Where are we going? What time do we get there? How long is the show? You know, I want to know and I am learning because this is actually how life works is that nothing is permanent. This is how it is today. This is what is working for me today. This is what time I woke up today. And that is getting comfortable with that is also important, right? Mm-hmm. Because it requires a listening is what I'm hearing from you. Yes. It requires a listening. What, what's working for you right now, if, if we, when I come and meet you in San Miguel in a year, hopefully less, yes. it might be something different. Absolutely. Right. Because it's, you are listening to whatever you need at that time. The like most, the pa- like, yes. like yesterday is gone. It's gone. Bye. Right. <laughs> now I could try to rollerblade like I did when I was, you know, 16. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that going to give me the same? Yes. That's not, that might not give me what I need. Yes. You yes. know, and so you're absolutely right. I think that one of the things we really miss out in, in communication is listening. Mm-hmm. It's 50%. We, we're, we're so busy broadcasting yeah. mm-hmm. that we're not just quiet. Yes. Like, what do I need? Yes. Yes. And also that we're constantly changing. Mm-hmm. We're, fi- we're physically changing, mm-hmm. right? That's what I'm saying. It's like, literally, it's like, I think of like, I look at pictures of my daughter when she was five and I'm like, I'm never going to see her again. Ever. Uh, but the good thing is that you have her in your mind. So if mm-hmm. you wanted to go back to that, mm-hmm. you have her and the essence of her mm-hmm. and the moments, right? We can live in those moments too, right? Mm-hmm. We can recall and stimulate ourselves in that kind of way. We can have yeah. so much fun playing, yes, right? Yes. Using our imagination to spark creativity, mm-hmm. to send us into all mm-hmm. different dimensions, right? Yes, yes. And, and so we want to utilize that time wisely. We want to utilize that time to the best of our abilities. Mm-hmm. I want my playtime to be playtime. Yeah. So how I do that is I just listen. What am, what am I going to do today? Oh, okay. So today I'm going to meet. All right. So I'm going to do bands today because I didn't move my body. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to beat myself up because yeah. I didn't go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. How about that? Just mm-hmm. for a start. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. self-care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not like the, it's not 
one thing that you do the day. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. how you treat yourself. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. I love that because self-care is a, is a term that is also kind of like newish, mm -hmm. right? That's a, that come out and we hear about self-care. Like, what does that mean? Does it mean you go to a spa? Does it, does it have to cost money? Right. And it's a lifestyle of listening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you say that? A lifestyle that's what I'm of listening. And once you listen, like then it becomes a celebration. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun part. You want to get to the celebrating. Yes. If you're so worried about getting to the next minute, you did not enjoy. Yeah. Right. That's part of the reprogramming too. Yes. It's saying, I'm going to stop. And instead of rushing to mm -hmm. what I think mm -hmm. it's going to be like mm -hmm. when, if I can drop the if then formula, mm -hmm. I can live in this now mm -hmm. and really feel like what it feels like to enjoy this, mm -hmm. right? This is confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting me. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. trusting that mm -hmm. I know how to get to mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Because I don't want to be just okay. Yeah. I want to live my life good. Yeah. I want to have a good life. Yes. Yes. And so how am I going to get there? Okay. Yes. This is no matter what, I'm going to choose to love me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of the fuck ups, I'm going to forgive the fuck ups. Yeah. All of the things that I didn't do, I'm going to forgive those things. Yeah. All of the things I did, I'm going to just, I know that at the end, I'm going to love me. Yeah. Like I'm my best. I'm my, my, I'm my one girl. Yeah. I'm my home yeah. girl. Yeah. 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 And so getting, getting to that, the lifestyle of listening and then moving into the celebration because mm -hmm. the celebration gets fun. Yes. You get to celebrate shit. Yes. Like, damn. Yes. And the sooner, the better, yes. right? Like, can we please not wait till we're retired to do that, right? right? Because that's also part of the programming of like, do da la la la, and then you get to enjoy life once your kids have grown and you are now 65 and now your pension and your retirement and blah, 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 right? right. All of that programming. Right. And we're also conditioned. Absolutely. To work that way. Absolutely. Yeah. I got to retirement Rome. Right. I didn't know mm -hmm. where I want to go. I don't mm -hmm. know what I want to do, mm -hmm. but I knew I didn't want to stay where I had been. Mm -hmm. And so retirement roaming, I didn't even know that was a term. Me neither. I just learned that today. I was today years old when I learned that term. Well, hey, <laughs> hey, there you go. Like you get to retirement roam. Yeah. You get to determine like, okay, this is where I want to spend the next part of my life. Yeah. The things that, you know, we have to start to concern ourselves with at a certain age, yes. right? Yes. How, wh who's going to take care of me? Yeah. Where is the hospital? Yeah. How do I want to live and how do I want to die? Yes. Yes. It's all kinds of things that don't have to be macabre. We don't yeah. have to fear these things. Yeah. We just, we just decide that yeah. this is what I want. Yeah. Yeah. And so really it's very empowering once you get in, into that state of le just leaving behind whatever it was. Yes, you, you never saw anybody do this. It's okay. Mm -hmm. That means you really have very little chance of fucking up because there is no model. No measurement. Yeah. You're it, baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're it. Yes. You're yes. the star. You're the pioneer. Yeah. They'll call you and go, wow, 25 years ago. How did you do that? Ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also yeah. just not celebrating the big moments. Like we, we had a, a talk about Shark Tank, which was your, your big moment. Mm -hmm. But like all of the things that you didn't talk about, those matter too. Yeah. Right. You got up today. You mm -hmm. put your, your favorite outfit on. Yeah. You did, you did your thing. You're a great mom. You're, you, yeah. you know, you're. You're doing this on a daily basis. You fought the fight. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you didn't feel like going through the process. Yeah. Celebrate that shit. Yeah, like yeah. really you graduated high school. You yeah. graduate, you mm -hmm. know, like I'm all for going back in time. Like I'm not going to just, mm. there's a lot of shit that I did that I didn't celebrate mm. because I passed it off as you just, just, just do what you were supposed yeah. to do. Well, yeah, of course you have to be in right. a movie. Right. <laughs> well, uh, of course you have to make a living and of yeah. course you gotta, yeah. you know, yeah. you gotta raise your kids and yeah. You, no. Yeah. I woke up in my right mind today. So I'm going to celebrate that. Yeah. And then I did this, you know, I was sharing actually uh, with Sam uh -huh. about ballet and mm -hmm. how I was this chunky little Puerto Rican <laughs> <laughs> ballerina who auditioned and got my first job in the Nutcracker. Mm. And I was like 50 before I said, damn, I did that. I did that. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I was in the nutcracker uh -huh. and I let myself feel joy about it mm -hmm. and I let myself talk about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we have a lot of moments that we pass off because mm -hmm. we're too busy rushing to the next one yeah and we're too busy downplaying who the fuck we are and yeah. I'm tired of it yeah I'm yeah. tired of having done it to myself mm -hmm. for so many years mm -hmm. I downplayed everything mm -hmm. and so of course I was insecure 
So celebrate it. Mm-hmm. If you have to celebrate it today and it happened 20 years ago, go ahead. Great. Who's telling you you can't? Take it for one. Let's go. Right? Bring the champagne. Yes. Mm-hmm. Take credit mm-hmm. for the things that you've done, yeah. for the things that you think, for yes. the things that you're yes. doing, the things yes. that you want to do. Yes. Yes. Be there. Yes. And throw yourself a damn party. Okay. Thank you. Because I also feel like there's a cultural part of this too, of like humility, of mm-hmm. like, don't show off. Like, no, just, okay. right. you know what I mean? That is learned. It is totally learned. Like we, we were not born that way. We were born partying. Yes. We were born partying yes. and playing yes. and celebrating. And look what I did. And look what I did. Yes. And then that gets dumbed down. Right. Right. It gets numbed. And then we, and then those moments happen. Right. We're like something amazing happens. Like you were in the goddamn nutcracker. Like, I didn't even know that. What? <laughs> and you're like, it's not a big deal. And, the t- and like, you don't enjoy it. You don't celebrate right. it. Because you I know? was only a soldier. I wasn't Clara. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we downplay that. Mm -hmm. And then what what we start to dwell on is I was never Clara. Uh And so that becomes the narrative that you celebrate and you're or or that you are ashamed of. Yes. Because you never celebrated Mm -hmm. that you were a soldier. Because how many people get to be the nutcracker? It did not that many because I was not Clara. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we keep we keep ourselves. Yeah from celebrating and yeah. we keep ourselves in suffering mode. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Part of it too. And in not enoughness mode. Not enoughness mode. Yeah. It's a beast. Yeah. And humility, right. You can be humble. We don't, we, we often think of humility and silence as the same thing and yeah. that's killing us. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Because yes. humility doesn't equal silence. Yes. Yes. I find that when you're first starting to brag and I love getting my clients to brag, mm-hmm. Um, and bragging is a trigger word for so yes. many of us. Again, learned. Right. Totally learned. The brag, the art of the brag. Mm-hmm. When, I'm, when I'm getting my clients into this brag mode, I love to have them practice getting rid of the feeling of shame of yes. bragging. Yes. Right? Yes. It's a practice. Yes. So we're going to meet every week and we're going to tell, like the first thing you're going to tell me is what, what you got to brag and about. And say it with your full chest. Right. Say it with your full there chest. There has to be a Cardi B, a Beyonce, mm-hmm. a Sasha Fierce. Yes. In you. Mm-hmm. That you just let be obnoxious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I did this. I walked in and I said, bitches, you going to give me my money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I mean, the quietest people can they have that yes right and if we begin to bring some brevity to it we mm-hmm. begin to lighten it up and yeah. have fun yeah because our greatest fear is that we're going to be that obnoxious girl that that girl. we're going to be judged right nobody's going to like us yeah. oh nobody what will they likes say that. right what will they say i always say fulana's not coming mm-hmm. she's not coming to judge you yeah mm-hmm. you know who's judging you you yeah mm-hmm. you're judging and you me. know what if they judge you and then what and then what? I mean, honestly. You know, I have all sorts of hater comments on YouTube for my Shark Tank video. And I'm like, uh-huh. And what? <sighs> she only went on there for the marketing. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yeah, because she's... Oh, you mean I know what I'm it. doing? <laughs> thank you. I take that as a compliment. Oh, right? Because uh, uh, let me just tell you, everybody went on there for the marketing. Some people... You know what I mean? It's a TV show. So you either know how the world works or you don't. <laughs> Education. Yeah. Marketing 101. Okay. How many millions of viewers do they have? Okay. Yes. But the point is just that like the fear of, you know, of retaliation, the fear of judgment, like really keeps, I think, a lot of people just from stepping into their full potential, their full power, yes. joy. Yes. Right? Yes. Because we know that we're the worst critics of all. Mm-hmm. But once again, that's reconciling that that piece of us, that subconscious piece of us that just wants to survive. Yes. Right? We just want to survive. Yeah, we just want things to be okay. This idea that being likable increases our chances of living. Yes. Right? Yes. And so beca- getting I won't get that, eaten. Right? I won't get killed. Right? Yes. They're going to save me. Somebody's going to protect me yep. from all of this. Yep. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's somebody who's going to protect you. Yeah. And she's called you. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps you two have met. Yeah, look in the mirror. Right. Yeah. She's going to protect you. You've yeah. just got to kind of reprogram her to understand yes. what it is that's important, what matters. Yes. What's what's yes. the real life danger here? Yes. The real life danger is us not living our, our true self, mm-hmm. us trying to be somebody else, us mm-hmm. living a life that is killing us because we're anxious, we're stressed, we're miserable. Yeah. And we're afraid. Yes. Yes. And how much of this comes from what you learned when you were a child? 
uh, you know, <laughs> you might want to like talk to a scientist because there's so much scientific evidence yeah. that says like it can be anywhere from 90% to, you know, 50%, uh-huh. but it's a great percentage. Yes. Right. You've got a five-year-old running the show. Yes. Yes. A five-year-old is running your show and you're a grown ass woman. Yes. And so, yes, yes, you have to go back and you have to tell the girl, Hey, yeah, baby girl. It's okay. This is okay. It's okay. You can chill. We got this. Yes. Right. Yes. And yes, when you begin to call in an understanding of who you are and where you came from, this is why these rituals Mm -hmm. of calling on your ancestors become so significant. Mm-hmm. of looking at your own family history and praising them, mm-hmm. right? For me, looking at my grandmother who came from Venezuela, was working in Trinidad on a plantation for seven years when she was 14 years old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, they end up in New York, mm-hmm. pay for her brothers to go to, to, go to school, mm-hmm. to go to university, mm-hmm. and entirely change the trajectory of her life mm-hmm. and her family's life. Mm-hmm. So... I come from an amazing people. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, you come from an amazing people. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Like... Warriors. Yes. Full-on warriors. Full-on warriors. Survivors. Yes. And to stop listening to any narratives that that call that any different. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to believe any more narratives that call that different. I'm going to call bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call bullshit on a colonialized education. Yes. I'm going to call yes. bullshit on a yes. whole bunch of things yes. that I believed falsely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And bringing that, that also allows you to show up in a whole different way. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like bringing, it's like, it's like my cloak. It just yeah. allows me to show up in a whole different yes. way. Yes. I'm like, can we get to the action items, Angel? Like, what do I need to do? <laughs> like, tell me what I need to do. I understand it's a journey, but like, I have already witnessed, experienced in my life already, like the letting go of people, of belief systems, of narratives, of guilt from the past, of the past period, you know? Is there something else I should be doing? <laughs> I think you need to play more. Thank you. Yes. I think you need to play. I okay. think, I think for you, life is hella serious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And part of it is because you're operating in realms that you've never operated mm-hmm. in. Uh, there's so much newness and there's a great deal of fear. There's still uh, lingering doubts about, is this real? I can mess this up any uh-huh. minute. There's expectations. Yes. yes. And so I, would suggest play. I love that. Giving yourself some play that. time. Thank you. And I literally I found myself asking last year, like, what do people do on weekends? Because I legit do not know. Because all I do is work. And also, it's I'm in New York, and I would like to be in nature. Like, if that, if we were in San Miguel, I'd be like, let's go to the bathhouse. I would know what to do on the weekend. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. here, I'm like, I feel very much like in like out of place. You know, mm-hmm. it's more challenging. I feel like just getting around New York City is challenging. Mm-hmm. You know, and so playing. I'm always like, do I need to make a list? Like, what are the things, what do people do? You know, because like Central Park is not cutting it for me. You know, (laughs) I've been to all the museums. I think what you (laughs) are taking uh, the idea of play as an external Mm. concept, right? Okay, I feel, I feel, I feel called out. Uh Uh-huh. Right? Go on. Did you not play in your imagination? Totally. Did you not Mm -hmm. make you know, mm-hmm. pies out of whatever. Yeah. Did you not teach school? Did you not? What oh, did yeah. you do? Yeah. I what had all the dolls lined up and I'd be like this, this, this. Okay. You <laughs> Bossy not... since day one. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. And here you are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you did not need anybody to, to entertain you. You didn't yep. need anybody to bring you anywhere. If you had yep. one doll, the situation worked. If you yeah. had five dolls, the situation worked. Because yeah. you know who was there? You were there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you were letting yourself be mm. your most natural self. And we forget that. Yeah. I'm talking about play in your imagination. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You don't need to go to San Miguel. You mm-hmm. don't need to go to the museum. You, don't, yeah. you can be still yes. and have the most exquisite mm-hmm. playtime you've ever had. Mm-hmm. I'm talking, feel it in your body because the other thing is that this is not about what we're doing. It's about who we are, Mm. how we're being. Mm -hmm. You want to do something or you want to feel something Yes. because there's a difference. Yes. I can give you a list of shit to do Mm -hmm. and you can come home and be like, that shit didn't work because I don't feel any different. Right. 
Yes. And I have experienced that. Right. Or like I went to the thing. I went to the place. I got on the plane and I came back and I don't feel different. Right. Because your feelings yeah. yes. are inside you. Yeah. They're not outside. <laughs> You're like, hey, guess what? <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. So internal yes. play. Yes. Starting with how you want to feel. When was yes. the last time that you felt that? Mm-hmm. So you want to feel at peace? Mm-hmm. When was the last time you felt that peace? Well, let's mm-hmm. go there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's spend some time in mm-hmm. that space. What mm-hmm. were you wearing? Mm-hmm. Where were you? Who mm-hmm. was there? What mm-hmm. faces did you see? Mm-hmm. We're going to recreate that because it's in your mind. Mm-hmm. So let's yeah. spend some time yeah. creating that. Yeah. And let's get in the habit of feeling that again. Yes. And from there, from that feeling, your, out, your outer world will change. Right. Your outer world will change because now you're conditioning your mind to understand that this is something that is a repetitive formula for me. I can Mm. redo this. Yes. I spend this many moments feeling at peace. Yes. I spend this many moments feeling confident. Yes. I spend this many moments Mm -hmm. feeling like I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Right. So Mm -hmm. it's all about what you want to feel. Right. I spend this many moments feeling like I can do anything. Yeah. Like I have all the money in the world and I can go anywhere. Yeah. I spend this much time feeling that I, my body is completely healthy. Mm-hmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's how we shape the reality. That is how we shape our reality. Mm-hmm. We're not looking for things to do because our world is literally filled mm-hmm. with every kind of distraction that you can do. Yes. We're looking at how we're going to connect to feeling. Mm-hmm. Form follows feeling. Mm-hmm. And that is a whole word. And that is a whole word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that that is just a beautiful place to end. And I just want to ask you just some like, like rapid fire questions. Okay. Just a few, just a few, like three. Okay. So the best piece of advice you have ever received. And listen, some people have, if you want to tell me the worst piece of advice, I'm good with that too. What, you know what I mean? Because it's about like the impact. So like the best piece of advice you have ever received. The best piece of advice I've received was from a stranger I met in a supermarket. He was about 89 years old. He was ancient. And he looked at me and he said, how are you? And I said, I'm here. And he said, good, just be and stay. Mm. Yes. And I, it took me a while to process mm. that, but I was like, oh mm-hmm. my gosh. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Tell me about, like, describe your perfect day. Don't hold back. I know you won't. Your perfect oh, day. My, per- my perfect day, it doesn't have a, a look. Mm-hmm. It has a feeling. Mm-hmm. So my perfect day, I wake up and I feel fabulous. Mm. My body feels so good. It's so mm. fluid. Nothing's cracking. Mm-hmm. I'm eating the things I love to eat. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my my thing, whether it's out in the air. I just feel good. I feel alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's my perfect day. I love it. It's a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling. That's the lesson. And what do you want to be remembered for? I thought you were going to say, what do I want to be when I grow up? I was like, (laughs) ooh. Can I I be Angel (laughs) Aviles? That Uh, is the correct answer. um, So what was the real question? No, the real question is, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered for telling the truth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Telling the truth. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Angel, thank you so much. It has been a joy. What a blessing that it just worked out that you happened to be in New York. I'm so, so excited. And that we get to have this conversation in person. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It was my pleasure.